can be so hard to just actually have a violin recording that gives me the feeling I want, that gives me that beautiful, cutting emotion. Tracking down a violin player and actually sorting out when I could record them. It's so difficult, it just makes me feel like this. But luckily, at Audio Plugin Deals, we're currently running a deal for Sonus Score's lyrical violin phrases. We have beautifully recorded melodies, all designed to flow seamlessly into each other, and a beautifully recorded sample pack, and we're going to be looking at it today. So, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and also turn on notifications if you haven't already, so that the next time we have something as life-saving as this, you won't miss out. Let's get into it. Okay, uh, let's crack on with it. Uh, it's light outside for once when I'm recording, so feeling good. Feeling better about this instrument because it is pretty great. Um, we'll just have a quick walkthrough of the, the features and everything, the interface. Won't take long, it's really simple. And then I thought, rather than me awkwardly listening to something I've already made, um, as much as I know you would all love to see me following along, um, I thought that we'd try give it a go at making it together, you know, just as we get a feel for the instrument today. Um, and so, basically, within the lyrical violin phrases, you have a bunch of themes here. So they all have dramatic descriptive names to inspire you. We also have the modes uh, they're named after. Um, so, you know, some of them are labelled ethnic. I assume that will be things like Phrygian dominant or something that would be used in kind of Middle Eastern or Spanish type sounds. Um, in fact, is there anything there that's Phrygian? No. So ethnic might mean Phrygian, but that's speculation. We'll investigate that. So if we select the theme, we'll select the ethnic one, uh, you can see there, there's color-coded keys. So C2 to G2 is the starting phrases. So basically all these themes are like mini libraries uh, with collections of phrases that are meant to flow into each other. So these blue ones here are the beginning phrases of a piece. Yellow is middle. Uh, and then from C4 upwards is ending phrases. And the green A and B of each octave are shorter ending phrases that could be tagged onto any of the previous. Meanwhile, the red octave starting C1 is key selection. So it's chromatic. You can put it in any key and it will work. So let's have a listen then. There you go, you can hear how those float into each other, the starting phrase and the mini ending phrase. Um, the only other thing to look at really is the speed uh, knob. So it's not like tempo locked to what your door is, uh, and that's to preserve the integrity of the, the speed of the recording, um, so it's not warping it. Uh, but you can vary the speed, and if you turn the dial up and down, then while recording, it will, you know, adjust and, and it will automate, it will show the automation of the speed as you perform it. So you can be quite performative with it. For me, it's great because I've never touched a violin and that's a lie, but I should not be allowed to touch a violin again in my life and I get to feel like a maestro. So you just yeah, right click, learn, learn MIDI CC automation. You can um, map that to a physical controller if you have one. Uh, and then, yeah, you can just sort of and you can really get the feel of it because as you slide the speed up and down, it doesn't sound like it's going all over the place. It's, it's smooth. Okay, so let's get into experimenting with the performativeness over a quick beat. 
So let's just go ahead and make something. I'm going to use the uh, Sonus Score Orchestra for the rhythm section as well. For some percussion, we're actually going to use the modern Boron instrument that I looked at in the last video. It's become one of my favorite percussion instruments, so I'm um, just going to go ahead and add some drums. Alright, so lastly, just going to add these violin phrases now, what we've all been waiting for. So. I'm um, just going to put it over the top of those rhythms. Alright, so that was our really quick look at lyrical violin phrases, um, hopefully a little walkthrough. Um, and so yeah, really simple, really easy to use as you can hear and judge for yourself. Uh, the melodies sound really great and they're pretty pristinely recorded as well. Um, it's quite fun to just be able to perform by playing in these phrases and then adjusting the speed as you go. Um, so yeah, give it a crack. Uh, let us know if you downloaded this and enjoyed a good time with it uh, it is on sale as we do here at audio plugin deals so yeah definitely don't hesitate give it a try and let us know how you found it um, once again here is the final result of what we did that's all from me cheers